Okay, right. I'll start over again because I've just not had the sound switched on. So you haven't heard a single thing I've just said, right? Um, are you all going to say, I can't hear you, I can't hear you? Not hearing you today. Okay, you can hear me now, Donna. I'm really sorry. What I was trying to say is, and what I did say, unless you were able to read my lips, was that I've had a couple of really yucky days this weekend where I just wanted to hide away and crawl into a hole and um, not speak to anybody, just be completely left alone. I think a lot of the time what's been happening over the lockdown the last few weeks, it's all it's information thrown at us, all new stuff is happening. Um, we are adapting constantly to a new, new situation, daily almost, always imagining the next step, which then might turn out completely different. And um, the press, frankly, doesn't help, definitely doesn't help watching what's going on in the news because everything's hyped up, um, obviously because you know they want people to um, to listen to it or buy into the news and um, and so there has to be a bit of not just factual report but also a bit of sensation going on but it definitely doesn't help especially when you already feel quite tired and worn out and perhaps a little bit anxious and maybe things are just feeling a little bit um, wobbly so and um, that doesn't help and um, yes and I think I just needed to have time to completely digest of what's been going on the last few weeks and do this silent reflection which is really really bit really really bit difficult when you are in a busy household like mine where I've got four children who um, whether they are they've got you know they say little children little problems big children big problems and it is actually true <clears throat> you get um, inundated constantly mom 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 I don't have this mom when's food ready mom are you gonna go shopping and um, I'm, not, I'm, I, I'm not a single parent. I have got a husband who, who does all of the same things that I do. Um, so it's like um, it takes two of us to respond to all their needs and their, um, yes, everything else. And remembering also that they've been in complete lockdown for the last few weeks as well. So thank you to everybody who's been um, kind enough to respond to my um, Facebook moan. I did call it reflection, but it's nice to know that um, somehow we're all in the same boat and um, let's just see who is here enough of me um, so <clears throat> afternoon all hi faith um, Emma is at the other end and um, so it's um, Emma here with um, Steffi um, you all today Emma here with Steffi you all today okay um, I'm, I'm sure what Emma is trying to say is that she's here today with you and me um, hi there makers, um, there's Diane, Steffi and everyone. Um, yes, we overcame the no sound problem, sorry about that. There's always one little button I forget to push. Um, Helen says, hi Steffi and Faith, um, Mother Goddess. And then um, Faith replies, hi Helen. Um, do you know each other, you, you two? You seem um, like you might be friends. And then um, Donna says, um, she's can't hearing me today either, but that's been resolved and um hello steffi and everyone <clears throat> here's to another therapy session <laughs> is it me who needs the therapy or is it you who gets it maybe both um no sound yes got you now yes we have sound um helen says hi emma diane says hello hope everyone is okay um another diane says yeah i thought it was just my volume can hear now hello again um, you see, I'm doing this to test you all, just in case you're zoning out. Um, at least I've got your attention now because you couldn't hear me. Um, Diane, um, oh no, Donna, Donna, Steffi, take time for yourself, my dear. This is a huge roller coaster. We are all riding on emotions all over the place. You can say this again. I felt actually completely numb on um, on Saturday and, and Sunday because I just it was too much of an emotional roller coaster for the last. Um, few days and then obviously all the weeks before that and I'm sure that everybody is in the same boat we all have to find um, a mechanism in our life that we can just go to automatically without having to think too much um, to find this safe place in in our lives and even if you haven't got it at the ready and when you desperately need it that's the wrong time to actually think about it what do I actually need you just have to have it all ready and 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 and, and just there for you to go to and um, yes, for me, um, on Saturday and Sunday, 
it's gonna feel so bad okay i will say i will say it i'll make one big confession i've eaten five ice creams on such day i don't eat ice cream because i'm dairy free and um, i'm not meant to eat sugar so um yeah how did that make me feel the day after pretty shite because i just thought why the hell did you do that steffi was that really worth it because i didn't feel great and so then on sunday um i just ate one instead of five but there you go i haven't had one yesterday or today i probably won't have another one for another year but still um yes it was at the time it was really really nice and then i take hours afterwards to beat myself up over it oh dear anyway moving on um who have we got here laura hello everyone if anybody's completely new to these youtube um live streams they must think i'm completely bonkers i'm here to needlefeld and um and make you all happy by needlefelting a rainbow and i'm talking about myself all the time um the therapy works both ways says donna of course it does i hope you give us therapy and hopefully it gives you some therapy passing your um gives you some therapy passing your felting onto us I, I i do have to say that um teaching you guys something new maybe or reaffirming something you already know or just giving you a little bit of a push or a bit of confidence to do some needle felting means the world to me and also to sophie i know that which is why we um run workshops and we just sort of you know literally ram it down your throat that needle felting is amazing so um helen i agree on donna we are like a family on makers oh thank you um and jane agrees as well so let's um talk about rainbows i also realize i'm out um one camera is out today so i won't zoom in really really close i've got two cameras that are working i have to investigate what's happened to the third one i probably switched it off by accident and don't know how to switch it back on again so i know it's not broken um it's just um, a slight technical hitch but that's okay um with the two cameras i've got you see plenty so i'm um what i'm doing today is i'm actually bringing to you our needle felt um rainbow of hope kit and what we like about it is that it can be it, it's not it's nothing as um fantastic as some of the kits that we do you know like the our um, subscription boxes where you make an amazing form this month few days left then um you make this beautiful butterfly picture or even our, uh, oh God, dropping half of it out now you haven't seen this i'm just gonna put this back in because i haven't closed it properly so this little kit is really just meant as a gesture um if you know somebody who needs a little bit of love a little bit of love little maybe maybe somebody wants to start needle felting starting with a 2d needle felting project is always much easier than starting with um something more complicated um though 3d is that we've also got very easy kits but this one is a little bit special so it you can't we haven't got a fancy sticker on the back because it actually is um thin enough to fit through a letterbox so we can post it as a large letter um i I'm, i haven't got it um quite close because there's actually so much in it i have to pack it very carefully but when i open it up or when you open it up or when your friend open it it's up or um whatever it is you get um first of all you get greeted with a lovely card and on the back of the card you could tell us to write um a personal message so you could say something like dear sue um hope to see you very soon and then we can have a cup of tea and some biscuits and you can tell me how you got on with your needle felting or something like that um or you know just sharing a thought everybody needs a rainbow in their lives here's yours something like that you you dream it up i i'm it's not me uh, for me to say and um or you can just leave it blank and then um maybe you want it to be a secret present and then you get your um needle felting instructions in the maker style where you've got on the first page you've got um how difficult the project is it's a very easy project the size it can make what techniques are used and then a list of materials that are in the kit on that you need to make that um, rainbow picture and then on the back you've got the full instructions with um, a lot of information right at the top about if you're brand new to needle felting um, what to be mindful of and how to use the needle and of course also just to say be aware there is a sharp needle in there so that's all these bits covered and then in in the case of our rainbow of hope pack here I don't want to tip it too much and oh, we've got some some um porn lichen in there that comes with our subscription box this month 
you get a full range of um, really bright and we really really have gone bright on, on the colors here of, um, of our um, brightest um, bats that we have got they're not all New Zealand but you have um, New Zealand and then you've got mountain sheep New Zealand mountain sheep New Zealand mountain sheep oh it's in order it's even we didn't plan that and then on here you've got the Australian uh, bleached extra extra white bat for our clouds you get two brooch pins because people might want to turn these into little rainbow brooches like that I'll pin mine on in a minute um, and then as a special treat you get a nice tea bag in there this one is lemon ginger and maluka honey but there are other flavors that might uh, come in and all of them are nurturing um, and looking after you tea bags and then you get um, A lovely little bag of lavender I don't know about you but lavender always makes me feel in fact actually lavender always reminds me of having tiny babies because I always used to have a lavender bath um, in the evening um, when I either when I was heavily pregnant or when I had um, brand new babies because it's very healing and very soothing but you can use it for completely different things of course you don't have to have a baby to use lavender bags um, you can um, just leave it with your wool, it deters moths, they don't like it. And um, you can also um, put it under your pillow for a nice um, soothing sleep. Um, what else can you do with lavender bag? Lavender, lo loads of things. Just, just, just smell it, just be happy and smell it. And then of course, all important, you do need a felt sheet. And that felt sheet is that big. So the idea is that perhaps you can cut off one third like that and make the picture more of a um, sort of more natural rectangular shape or you can use it really long and then if you cut a piece off then it allows you to make um, two small pictures or even two um, rainbow brooches so the one that i've got here is only actually one third of the size so this this size rainbow um, is only one third of this and you have got plenty of wool in there to make um, at least three of these little pictures or a larger picture and two brooches you get the gist you you design your own rainbow basically um, the other thing you get in here all importantly because this is meant perhaps for a complete beginner you get a very um, thin felting mat we don't use these very often we have them to, to fit them into our um, very um, thin boxes and you get two felting needles um, you only need one at a time but in case you break one at least you've got a second one um, to use as well so I'm going to put this to one side now I have made my tea already which is at the ready there and um, but I will um, have some of this chocolate so chocolate chocolate I'll put this to one side for the moment and I'll have that in a minute and I don't need my brooch pins for the moment either nor the lavender bag and I'm just going to take this wool out put the box to one side and then we can um, start so I'm going to make um, as I said earlier I'm going to make a slightly bigger picture than the one that um, I've shown you just a minute ago and the other this um, this one will be great for making two of these brooches because you needle felt them onto felt as well and then you cut, cut around them afterwards so that's all at the ready I need my felting mat which I've got here I'm just going to pin that rainbow on and I feel instantly happier there you go and now I've got um, my earth friendly felting mat these are by the way one of our best selling products now um, they fly out they are just so amazing we have not heard anybody ever find any fault with them and uh, they last and they last and they last so if you haven't got one yet do invest in one the best selling one is actually the big one this one's well used um, then we've got the A5 um, which is that size and we have an A6 as well but we have now also got twice this size so an A3 big one um, because sometimes you just need your whole table to be ready to felt so this one fits on here nicely now you can just start painting this picture by needle felting the wool in a rainbow um, shape here or you if you want to be um, very precise you could draw on it with a pencil just to give you sort of a little bit of a of a guide where you're going with this um, 
that's entirely up to you. As you're covering up the part that you're drawing on, it doesn't really matter. So you have got your, um, you have got six colors in your pack. So I've just drawn five, six stripes, but you don't have to do it this way. And um, there you go, you can see it better now, just very faintly, completely um, freehand. And I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit more because I can get, I can go one smaller and then you can see it better there. So starting, I'll, um, you can start your rainbow however you want to. There is no real rule, but most rainbows that you've been seeing out in windows or pinned up anywhere, they're starting from the base here. And I'm doing this upside down so that it's the right way around for you. So I am laying out wisps of wool and I'm felting this down into the felt sheet now by establishing it on first. Now everybody has a different style of felting. Some of you love it really neat. Um, some of you love it a little bit more fluid. Um, it, there is no right or wrong. You have to do whatever pleases your eye, not what you think somebody else might um, like. And sometimes you don't even think about it, it just comes natural. I'm usually more of a fluid person. And so my rainbows tend to be less, um, the colors seem to run into the other a little bit more than just being totally precise. But like I said, you can you can do whatever you like. The technique to make it really neat is um, stabbing in at a slight angle. So you can see that I'm going into um, the purple sort of at an angle to make it a nice neat shape. And then you can stab it as much or as little as you like. As long as it's staying on your felt sheet, it doesn't really matter um, whether it is solidly felted down or whether you have got a bit of um, air and loftiness going on there. The most important thing you have to remember when you're felting anything flat, you have to keep lifting it off your mat because the fibers get pushed into the uh, into the felting mat, whether you use an earth mat or anything, gets pushed into it. And if you don't keep lifting it off regularly, you end up with it fastening um, itself to your felting mat, which could potentially be a disaster. Depends how long you've been resting it on there. Saying that, the earth mat is actually pretty good. And I'm going into the corner here because I want all the colors. They're going to meet in these corners, which is where I'm going to put the fluffy clouds later. So I'm not too worried how neat um, the end of the rainbow is at the moment. I'm just um, making sure that it's felted on. There you go. Now. This is a great example um, to use lots and lots of different tools. If you have a three needle felting tool, which looks a little bit like that, it's loaded with three needles and they can also be um, taken out and replaced. You just stab it in and it just speeds your work up. However, if you're getting this kit for a friend who is maybe just starting out to needle felt and has heard about it, just hasn't had the courage to go for it, um, or you, they need a little nudge, or you know that they're down in the dumps at the moment and they need a hobby or anything like that, they obviously don't have that three needle felting tool um, to hand and they don't need it. It's perfectly fine to stop this with a thing, single needle and um, just keep going over and over. So once your first stripe is attached, and I'm peeling this off because it's, um, it's fastening itself on, the back looks a little bit like this, and the more you stub it, the more the colors will come through on the other side. There. And then you're going to the next color. And the next color in the rainbow order is the blue. And again, I'm teasing the fibers out a little bit. So I'm, I'm painting with it with my fingers first. So I lay it into position, and then I'm going to use the needle and I fasten it in. So it's always best to just um, fasten it in a little bit. It's almost like tacking. And then um, you can um, stab it a bit more once you've got it in the right place. And like I said, I'm not too worried about these corners here because the, the fluffy clouds will be sitting on top of it and um, it will um, take care of, of it not being so tidy. So I'm trying to make that the same width of um, stripe if I can. And uh, what you will find is that you're using more wool as you're going up because the stripes are longer. So you will have um, less wool left of whatever wool you've ended up at the top. So you could make a variety of rainbows. But I think even, even if you end up with a different color, um, even if you do the same um, order of rainbow all the time, you will have enough wool 
to make your picture and two brooches and then you will still have some left over so we never shortchange people um, with wool we rather you have a bit left over than suddenly you can't finish your piece of work because there is nothing left right so i'm just going to see i'm going to go a bit bigger again um so i can um, read some of the messages here oh hi lizzie foo you made it excellent um okay i'm reading from the bottom up again that's never good um elizabeth says hello steffi and everyone looking forward to learning more tips and advice time to enjoy ourselves yes definitely have you got your cup of tea ready have you got um maybe a nice little chocolate i'm going to have one now let's just have a little treat mmm delicious mmm can't talk now because i'm chewing mmm Mm. Gotta finish chewing now, but I can read in the meantime. Sorry. Oh, Jane says she's looking for so forward from to, I so look forward to these sessions with the family, the makers family. <laughs> um, Faith says Steffi just listening, joining in, and chatting back at the screen while you talk, and felt, and felt it's so wonderful and something I really look forward to. That's nice to hear. Um, the camera ate too many ice creams. <laughs> the cam camera is probably disgusted at me eating too many ice creams and, and it's gone away and left me. That's why it isn't working today. Um, Helen, Hannah, my granddaughter and myself had a lovely time making ours. Chocolate Lush. Excellent. That's really nice. Lizzie, phew, made it. Hi everyone. Oh, I said that already. That was when I was reading backwards. Um, lavender is also good to keep moths away from your wool, I believe. You're absolutely right, Faith. Um, you probably missed that, me saying that earlier. But yes, lavender, if you put lavender with um, your wool, it will deter the moths. They, for some reason, don't like the smell. It's the same with um, cedar balls or cedar oil. And you can get these cedar balls. This is to deter the moths. If you've already got a moth infection and um, the moths have already um, laid their eggs in your wool and happily eating, um, your wool then um, the lavender won't help you but it, it will help you um, to, to tell them basically go away not here somewhere else so um, that's what the lavender does it's a deterrent um, I've had this gorgeous kit made a rainbow for my little one-year-old granddaughter to put on her window as she cl claps every Thursday evening with her mum and dad oh that's so nice that's a lovely thought um, Jane I think they're gonna stop all the clapping now as well um, I heard right so I'm going to put a little bit of green because that comes next in the rainbow order onto um, the blue part here so I'm again I'm stabbing this down with my single needle and putting it in line above the blue there I did also um, remember this time to bring a list. Oh yes, I did bring a list, but it's r right over there. I might have to get up and get it um, to remind everybody what live streams are coming up. So on, we are doing the Harvest Mouse at the end of this week. Um, on Thursday, in fact, not quite the very end, but almost the end. It's a short week this week. And um, I'm so looking forward to that. I, I really am because they're so easy to make you'll be um, really surprised and if you need to find out how to use our beeswax balm then that's a great one um, to watch because I will be using the beeswax balm because it comes in the kit anyway and um, the harvest mouse I, I think oh I, I'm, I'm just gonna grab the harvest mouse and I'm gonna grab um, that, that list of, of live streams that I printed off I'm still here Jane you'll be pleased to hear Oh, I think I've got the list with me. Oh, yes, it's there. Okay, the list is here. This gave me a reason to shout from far away. I'm still here. And the little mice are ready. I'm just going to show you one. Oh, there's a whole family in there. Maybe I should take two out. There. So the mice um, are going to be like this. Little mice. And they've got um, little tails that bend. So because harvest mice, harvest mice often hang from um, little grain stalks or things like that 
and um, and that's how they how they um, reach out to where they want to be and they often they sort of often huddle up to, to with each other as well so there's maybe and the harvest mouse kit makes two so you can make two harvest mice and um, um, talking about lavender I can just smell the beeswax balm that we um, manufacture ourselves is has got lavender in it as well um, so I can smell that at the moment as well but they're very very cute little mice dead easy to make and I will show them to you on Thursday so if you um, if you have already bought your kit brilliant if you haven't yet then you might just be um, in luck to get it before Thursday if you um, push that button now and put first class um, Royal Mail postage onto it but otherwise all you need is a is a, um, a bit of wire um, you need some sort of um, well maybe you've got this wool it's like our um, the fox rust brown variegated that's the name of the wool and then um, some glue in eyes I think I believe these are five millimeter glue in eyes a bit of flesh pink and um, and if you if you have our beeswax balm you're definitely in business it really really makes a difference to make these tails less fluffy so they're they're just all covered in beeswax balm they're brilliant um, yeah, little, little mouse. so that's happening on Thursday um, I'm just gonna have a look what else is there so that's on Thursday and then on and then we're already in the first of the month how did that happen the first of June goodness me it's nearly midsummer it's nearly half of 2020 gone and uh, probably a lot of us wish it was gone altogether <laughs> deleted from the from the calendar um, well maybe not because there have been many many good good things as well and while I'm while I'm talking to you I'll add yellow into the equation now same thing I love this yellow this is our neon yellow and if that doesn't make you happy nothing will so um, yeah I love this yellow it just it's that rainbow has been screaming to get that yellow put on top love it so nice look at that oh lush nice 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 I am such a color a color um, voyeur Color warrior, just now. <laughs> oh, I do make myself laugh if not nobody else. Um, oh, how is everybody going on here now? Um, Pat is there. Hi, Pat. Um, is the backing a pre felt or a 100% wool craft felt? Neither. So, we use a viscous wool felt, we love it for um, several reasons. First of all, it's thin, so when you prod it with your needle at least you don't break the needle um, because it's it you can get through it really quickly we love it too because it is natural fiber so wool and viscous are all natural fibers um, we also love it because it doesn't go out of shape so this is still the same shape as it was before it hasn't like um, pulled in it hasn't broken so you haven't um, got big holes in there suddenly that um, make a hole in your whole work and the most important thing is, and if you've heard me say this before, you'll know what I'm going to say now, is it doesn't squeak. I don't like squeaky felt. So um, we love this felt because it's thin enough to needle felt onto comfortably without breakage of your needles. And it's, um, it's really super strong. So an amazing um, felt to felt onto. We do sell a whole color assortment. They're kind of um, weird colors because they... Um, they, they, we, we're selling them for whatever we've used them but we're just adding new colors into the whole equation because we're adding a, um, a seven color rainbow pack into it so you don't even have to buy the single sheets you get a whole pack um, it's not quite available yet but it will be soon but it is mainly in view of making our very very lush little um, rainbow rainbow peck dolls um, there's three here Stand them up for a minute that's another tutorial that's coming up and I am um, oh they look really nice with that rainbow even though it's not quite finished I have to do it again when the rainbow is finished and that uh, peg doll tutorial I don't think it's until July I can't even think that far ahead but I had I obviously had have had to uh, think that far ahead so the, let's have a look the craft along rainbow peck dolls are not until oh my goodness until the 27th of July I don't know if I can wait that long 
um, I might have to make another set all together because they're just so nice and colourful. Um, anyway, you can buy the, the felt way before that um, and then we will reveal um, the, um, the pattern for the, for the little coats that you can make on the tutorial. So that's my yellow fastened on. Now the next one in the order is um, orange. And I just want to show you, this This is the wool that I've still got left over. I've put it here at the front so you can see that um, there is plenty of, of um, maybe I should go a bit closer in again and then you can see the wool as well. So there's plenty of, um, oh no, that's the camera that nobody can, that doesn't work at the moment. Sorry about this. Um, you just saw black. So this is the wool I've used so far and you, I hardly use any of it. So there is plenty, plenty left to, um, to do more and you will have some left over even when you've made your picture and two brooches out of that um, kit. Right, so I need to reach my orange right down into that corner because that's where the cloud is going to be. So I'm giving it the next stripe now and then there's only one more to go. So going all the way down, reaching down make sure that I've got um, a nice area for my clouds to sit on. Don't have to put clouds on. It can just be the rainbow if you prefer. Put a bit more orange here, a bit thin. The nice thing with needle felting is it's always best to do um, less and then add more if you need more adding into it rather than piling it on and then um, you realize you've put too much on and it's half felted and you've got to take it off and it can be quite um, a pain to do that so yes so far I've got got now and now I'm putting my last color on there so there's my leftover I, I'd say I haven't even used a quarter of that wool um, yet that that comes with with your rainbow pack or kit I should say so I'm putting the next one really close so that it's reaching down, teasing it along. It's almost like painting with wool when you stretch it out, just using your fingers, dabbing it in, going along and there. So once you've got your um, wool in place, you have you can either just leave it as it is, you can stab it a little bit more if you've um, got the kit then obviously you'll be using what you've got in your kit especially if you're a total beginner needle felter or if this is a gift for somebody who's never done it before but if you are already a savvy needle felter and you've got tools at home or maybe you've been wondering should i get this tool but i'm not sure how to use it i will introduce a few different multi-tools to you now so you can, if you have got um, a seven needle felting tool, and I will just show you, this looks like that from the back now. So the wool fibers have definitely been pushed through, but you can still see the felt um, in between. And this is absolutely fine. This will not come off, it will stay that way. But if you want to um, now felt this down really flat and, and integrate it more, you can use what we uh, call our seven needle felting tool. This is brand new out of the packaging, so it comes and you have to unlock it. It has got, um, you can, sh um, there is a little sign on, um, a little um, word on there that says unlock, and that will allow for that shield to pop back. It comes loaded with seven fine needles, and this works best on a flat needle felt, so don't use this on any 3D. And the way to do this is just to go over, go over the rainbow, um, go over the bits that you felt it down already and I will show you the difference now because can you see how much um, you, I don't know if you can see it actually how much I flattened that purple into it it does work on the earth mat so if you are investing something then just go for the seven needle felting tool however if you happen to have one of those or you like using these then it also it works really well with um, a brush mat as well where the fibers get pushed into that brush we sell them in that size and the next size up um, and you just have to move it along if you haven't got a big enough brush um, and again it's really hard to tell you that this has now been flattened a lot but you can probably see from the back that that color has put been pushed through a lot more and then you can do this 
over on top of all the other colors as well so this uh, basically just felts it down really flat that's what this tool does if you ever wondered what this tool does and i'm just going to go as far as the green and then you can i don't know if you can see it but it's definitely flatter here this is quite fluffy up here still so that's a really good um, tool to invest in if you don't have an earth mat but a foam mat don't use this on your foam mat you will break the tool because the needles just get uh, pushed into the foam mat and then they sort of get stuck and then in the process of you wanting to get them out again you probably break one or two needles off so this has to be used either with the brush mat or with the earth mat um, it does sink in better on the um, I can feel it so I can I can also go slower up here I can feel that if you're using the brush mat you don't have to put quite so much force into it but it's still better than using it with a foam mat I promise you the foam mat is just lethal for these tools and we get lots of people saying I don't really know how to use this ideally you use the two together so I am going to be totally honest with you these two work really well however if you don't want to use that seven needle felting tool and you've got a prim tool which is uh, basically also a multi-tool it's of a much higher quality love these um, they come and they look like that and they they come without needles and then you've got to take it apart so it comes in um, in three parts like this and then you've got to um, to load it comes as a single needle holder as well you have to screw this open insert the needle there screw it up again and then the needle is poking out this side that's one bit and then similarly for the multi-tool you can just about see it's got six holes in there you take open this up and then you rest the needles on the back here and then the needles poke out at this end as well and then you can put your single needle tool inside there put the whole thing together and then you can use it so i've one set up here already got the needles in there it's got the single needle here at the back put that in and then um, you put this on the back of it so that you've got a nice grip and these work brilliantly if you find it hard to hold your um, felting tool between your fingers so if you find this this hard to hold it like this and you need to let, let it rest in the palm of your hand this is the best tool for that and the needles just um, push the fibers through quite easily with no problem whatsoever and um, in a minute I'll show you the back again and then you can compare it to what it looked like before um, so you just stuff the needles into there and then if you uh, wanted to use the single needle, needle tool you just take that one out and use that as the single needle tool um, in your hand as well so it's slightly easier to hold this than just the needle by itself if you have mobility issues with your hands um, flat needle felting is also really good for you to um, if you have only the use of one arm then um, we've seen people who uh, take to the flat needle felting a lot easier especially on our lovely earth mats when they come really big and you don't have to move things around you just now and then have to lift them off but you can do that with one hand and um, um, yeah so it, it, it um, why am I saying this oh yes because flat needle felting and using these multi tools it works quite well if you have problems with mobility in your hands or arms so when you don't use this tool anymore you just turn the white handle the other way around and that keeps the needle needles safe it stands up and even if it tips over and it rolls off your table it, it sort of goes in a in a circle unless it's too close to the edge but it will just go round rather than rolling in a straight line right I'm just gonna go a bit bigger again there you go so I've got um, my rainbow all nice and um, felted and if I turn it round now it's made a huge difference stubbing these in more you can even stub it in more until um, the back looks almost like the front so let's put the clouds on but before I do that I just have a little read what's going on here um, I'm sure chocolate contains dairy it does and I I, I I told a little lie I'm not actually eating that chocolate I've got another dairy free bar here but um, 
I, I want to put it in my mouth, but then I can't talk for a long time, so I'm not going to do that. Um, yes, chocolate does contain dairy, and um, just to prove it to you, I haven't touched those two, heart, two hearts, they're still there. They are, however, very convenient to put in your eyes as glasses. So if you, um, you know those emojis when they've got um, color, when they've got hearts in their eyes, that's a bit like that. So you can do that with the chocolates. If you can't eat them, at least you can wear them as, um, as hearts in your eyes, which is also quite handy. Um, so, um, so it's, um, it's, I think it's more uh, viscous than wool in these felt sheets, if I remember rightly, but it does say it on, on our listing. Um, love the doll sitting on your rainbow. I know, I love it too. As soon as the rainbow is done, I'm going to have the doll sitting on there. That's a very satisfying picture. So I'm going to, um, yeah, the, um, and Emma just uh, confirmed the rainbow peck dolls video is on Monday the 27th. Um, so the size peg dolls that you need is, um, it's the six centimeter or 60 millimeter. It's the larger size of the peg dolls. And, um, I, uh, you can make seven from, um, the felt pack, but we will have that listed and with plenty of time. That's one of the reasons why we've done this so early. So people have got chance to stock up on, on the, um, supplies. Um, Faith says it looks so bright and cheerful that's the peg dolls on top of the rainbow i i agree um what's the difference between using the felting mat or the brush um i don't know if you heard me already explain that or not but i'll explain it again so the brush um works the best with your seven needle felting tool so these two are sort of like joined by the hip basically these two work really well together um the the bristles of of this brush um, give very little resistance to this felting tool which has got a retractable sheet so when you uh, when you push it in uh, there's no resistance whatsoever and um, even with a felting with a sheet in between you have very little resistance and the needle just sort of pop out again which is what you want so these two work really well together you can use this seven felting needle tool on our earth mat um, the needles go in but it's not as as easy as it is with the brush mat where you literally have no resistance it, I can't even tell that the needles have gone in it's so it just goes in with no resistance which is great when you flat felting because you don't want to put a lot of effort into it um, if you don't have any of this you can just use a single needle on your felting mat um, as I've demonstrated to you by just stabbing into it but if you want to speed things up a bit, and eventually it will become just as flat with just a single needle if you keep stabbing, 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 stabbing. But if you do want to uh, use a multi-tool, you can use the three needle felting tool, which already makes things three times as fast. So that's a good one to have as well. Or if you have mobility issues, then the prim needle felting tool, which doesn't come with needles. You have to load it up yourself with needles that you bought elsewhere or separately or that you've already got at home um, and it looks quite vicious like this and that one has got the advantage that it works on your felting um, on your felting mat it works on your um, foam mat as well if you've got that at home um, and you can hold it uh, in the palm of your hand so you don't have to use the your fingers you don't need to have mobility in your fingers you can rest, rest it in the palm of your hand and this material is very satisfying it's almost got a rubbery feel but it is plastic it's solid and it fits in the into your hand and you can just go up and down so the movement is more from the upper body um upper arm than from the lower arm where you're having to grip it and your fingers might get quite tired and maybe you don't have that mobility in your in your hand and in your fingers so that's really quite good to um, at, at least not for a long time because this is the, the thing is about doing this lots and lots and lots and lots of time over so you might have enough just to do the thing with a single needle fasten the wool on and then you want to speed things up by just using it with a multi-tool so there's my rainbow now hope that answers the question um, um, okay I've answered the question about the pick doll size um, I've, and in the prim in the prim tool just put medium sized needles They they work really well so it's the standard 38 needles and um, 
Okay, and Emma is answering. I think there's a slight time delay, so when I read the messages and then um, and and then it, it they get already answered, but I've already said it in real time. But then you get me talking like a few minutes after. Anyway, I'm going to put clouds on there now on a clump of clouds on either side. I personally quite like it when they're sort of almost sticking out of the picture a bit, so they're they're sort of not completely flush with the corners. And um, you can, um, again, you can don't have to use all of this white. In fact, that'd be quite a lot. Just use a little bit. Now you've got options. You can make really flat clouds or you can keep them lofty. If you want to keep them lofty, then just tuck in the wispy ends of, of this wool, pa of this, uh, wool patch. I'll, I'm just going to go a little bit closer. So I'm, I'm just sitting them on top of um, where all the colours come together here so that every single colour comes out of that um out of that cloud and I'm all I'm doing is I'm tucking in the up end the outside um of that patch of wool or that um white fluffy bit of wool and um, that's what I'm doing first so I want the cloud to be nice and 3d fluffy and and lofty and um all the things that we associate with clouds um having it um like that you can tuck it right into the corner and um, basically that's fastening it on you're not felting it flat you're just fastening it on by going into the sides i haven't gone right into the middle yet but i'm going to do that next so if you want to just bring it in a little bit give it a few stabs so that it um it's not um it looks more like that now i quite like that that that's fine for, for me i've seen some people who've sort of literally drawn on the cloud and they've made it quite flat Let's see if i can copy that and um felt it the probably the white on sooner than i would have done and then just um felt the edges in like that and then have just worked a little bit more on the on the surface of it by giving it almost sort of like um little stripes <clears throat> i say stripes but they're not really colored stripes they're just lines i should maybe say like little lines and i've seen that too and that's absolutely fine you can design your own clouds there's so many different clouds that um you'll have no problem with whatever cloud you design you can have there and then it looks um more like a structured cloud and if you if you want to um adjust it at any point you can just put more wool over the top and um and emphasize whatever you're trying to do a bit more and that's fine too so you can have uh, different types of clouds sitting um just below where the rainbow is popping out from and um, either of it will be absolutely fine now i like it with this rainbow picture i like it when the corners are rounded off and i'm going to do that um, next so for that i just use some scissors oh and i meant to bring some scissors downstairs that we we've only just listed and they're really nice little embroidery scissors but anyway you've got to find them yourself i'm just using big clunky scissors here and i'm just shaping the corners off um to to keep the picture in line with the um, rainbow itself and there's my <clears throat> my rainbow picture now you might want to make your rainbow um, stripes much thinner, you might want to stretch it a bit more, um, you might want bigger clouds, smaller clouds, um, whatever, I don't, I don't mind. You do your own rainbow, you might um, want to cut the whole thing out, which is basically what you're doing when you're doing the brooch, so the whole thing gets cut out. Um, so you can do that with your picture too, if you just want the shape of the rainbow. It's not going to go anywhere, it's totally solidly felted onto this felt sheet looks like that from the back so you can completely cut away um, the felt sheet if you like um, you can make the clouds differently you can go the other way with the rainbow whatever you do if you're not doing it in rainbow order don't show it to me but if you want to do this in the privacy of your house that's absolutely fine as most of you know I'm completely um, color OCD so if you show me a rainbow in the wrong order I'm gonna have a headache for the rest of the day but um, if it if you want to start with the red and work your way up to the um to the um, um purple then that's fine too i'm i'm totally cool with this just um don't have maybe the green next to the yellow um next to the red or or anything like this this will just definitely give me a headache anyway it's your rainbow so you can do what you like 
this is mine and this is um, how this one has turned out it's quite nice looks nice in the window or you can put it in a frame it's just to cheer you up it's not always about the end result it's also about just doing it maybe somebody has never made um, a needle felted picture or anything needle felted this is such a lovely way of uh, giving them an opportunity to try it out no pressure anybody can do this everybody can stab a needle and um, and why not make a rainbow such a happy sign of um, yeah of hope I think um, it was only yesterday I had a conversation with my daughter and she said that a lot of people are out outraged um, that rainbows now have are suddenly have this meaning and it's like I've always had rainbows in my life um, if you I mean I'm not I, I, I was a child of the of the 70s but um, I think if you if you have been a hippie chick in the 60s rainbows were really important to you rainbows don't belong to anybody rainbows belong to everybody and um, it doesn't have to um, stand for this or that or the other if it makes you happy to have a rainbow in your life then go for it and if people associate it with what one thing or the other then that that that's there that's their thing um, rainbows have been well rainbows are in the sky they don't even belong to us so you can make um, a rainbow for whatever reason you want to there's nobody who can tell you no no that's reserved for XYZ or this is now only for people who um, want to support the NHS or anything like this Com complete rubbish so you do whatever you like and um, yes um, so if you make this into a brooch you just make a mini version and then as I said you just cut all the felt out and then if you've not come across our very special brooch pins I will explain these to you again so you get these in the pack they look like that and you'll say well actually that's just a safety pin but it actually isn't because it hasn't got a coil so it's completely um, free to slip around so if you're fastening this into something then you can um, stick the knee the pin in there and then you just swivel it round so that it um, it's now on that part that you normally can't swivel it around on a safety pin and that means that that is completely free to pin onto you it's totally secure and um, it's not going to come out unless you take it out by bending it around that um, bendy bit again and then uh, it's no longer a brooch so the great thing is that you don't need to have lots of these um, you don't have to sew them on you can just take them out anytime you want to and they will save you lots of time if you're making um, lots of brooch brooches for for Christmas maybe for a friend or maybe you put them on a Christmas card not necessarily rainbows but they could also go on there anything you like right so let's have another look Donna says the prim tool is wonderful I love it too um, and Lizzie says just order the prim needle tool and some extra needles to keep me going would the prim tool be suitable for use for the for the next month's 2d butterfly absolutely great for that um, so yeah you can definitely use that or you can use the brush mat and the seven needle felting tool i know sophie likes using these but um i i'm a prim tool um supporter and um, it's got nothing to do with me being german and prim being german uh, by the way but they're just really good um i always get confused between the needle gauges and sizes like a medium 38 triangle i'm getting better at it those thanks to each instruction sheet I receive okay so basically just a really quick um, quick bit on needles the most common needles have got a triangular shape if you take a cross section of the needle so say that's your needle and you cut into it like cut it in half and then you look with a microscope probably what um, what the needle looks like as you're looking onto onto it um, it will be a triangular shape so it's like that okay and then the notches um, um, the, the notches or the grooves are on on the bits on the side like that the needles are measured in the wire gauge measurement that means that if you've got um, a 38 just think of 38 for now um, 38 how can you remember 38 I've no idea but anyway just remember 38 and that's always the medium go from the 38 then because the the wire gauge the bigger the number the finer the needle so it's exactly opposite from what you imagine it to be um, so a 40 is a fine needle and a 36 because it's a smaller number is a coarse needle so go by the middle 38 you go to 36 that's coarse you go to 40 
that's um, fine. And then you can also go to 42, that's even finer. And then you can go even coarser, but um, the coarsest needle that I've ever seen is a 19 and it's hideous. I've no idea what you do with it because you sure as hell couldn't put it into wool to felt it. It's so thick, it really is. But it might be interesting just to see a needle close up. So we don't even sell it. And um, I think they have different uses, not so much for needle felting. So that's about the needles, the size of it. Now, you can get specialist needles. Remember that all of these needles have absolutely nothing to do with hand needle felting. They're made to sit in industrial needle felting machines. So they are quite a piece of engineering and, um, and science in that um, different fibers um, react differently when needles get stuffed into it. And needle, the needles are not just made for wool uh, needle felting, they're made for all kinds of fabric, even man-made fiber that gets needle felted. So I think somebody told me once that in your, in your car, for example, you've got a lot of needle felted um, fabric in there that's not wool. But it's just been processed in that way so all the loose fibers have been turned into um, a solid piece of fabric the tennis ball has been stuffed with needles by the way um just as a bit of a fun fact and um and so they also vary the shape of the actual needle what i told you the most common was was triangular you can also get one that has got um a star shape it's only a five pointed star so it's not like um you know the star of jerusalem it's just a very simple star shape and um and that allows more notches onto it but it also allows the needle to sink in more comfortably into your wool because there isn't so much um resistance because they're, they're, they're it's finer to go in if that makes sense the, the the twist comes when they're twisted so they can also be that shape and then they have a twisted end and i happen to have one here I hold it really close because I think you can just about see the twist if I if I um, sort of roll the needle around in my hand can you see the twist so this one is a star needle with a twist and the twisted bit enhances the ease of the needle to go in but it also increases the surface on the tip of the needle to put notches into it so you have a very efficient needle that you can use for a long time whereas a coarse needle if it's just triangular with notches is a little, little bit rough and ready and when you get um to you might have to change over to a smaller needle much sooner whereas with a twisted needle and um you can um you you have longer with it and it works just as efficiently because the finer the needle becomes the less notches you will have in there because it becomes quite a fragile needle but you can create that fineness by putting a twist onto it have i still got you you can also get um the star needles that have got a twist in it so that's like a double whammy and then we buy a lot of our needles from germany not that i'm biased or anything but they do make the best needles and that um they're gods beckert and they have got also got a cross star needle so just to confuse you completely instead of it being um a, a cross shape this is the cross section of the needle this is not you can't really see that unless you look at, um, at it under a microscope you can also get a, literally a cross shape and then the notches are um, along that. And that has the same effect as the star twisted needle. Um, and the cross star, the cross um, needle is also twisted. So they can be, um, you say twisted and you also say spiral. So spiral and twisted is the same thing. And the most basic common needles are always the triangular box standard needles. And um, if you want to try all of our needles, because there are a lot of other varieties as well, you can get our mega mix of needles where you get one of each kind that we currently stock um, you can also always look up on our website we have a complete explanation what our needles are and what they do and that explains um, what shape they are as well and what size they are and um, if you buy the mega mix you get in fact if you buy any needles you should be getting every time one of these um, little leaflets that we put in there um, that explains it's a key to our colored needle codes so you will always know if the needles are from us, you always know which needle you've got there. When you get really, really good at needle felting or you do it lots, um, lots and lots and lots, you can tell just by looking at the needles what they are um, because you just get, it's like a tool of your trade almost and you, you just know what you're looking at. Right, I'm just going to look at some of these comments now. Um, so you got, so hopefully that has helped. Uh... Thank you so much, Steffi. That makes so much more sense. I feel like I've had a breakthrough. 
Hooray! It's better to have a breakthrough than breaking your needle, so that's really good. Um, sometimes I just forget how much I've got knowledge I've got in my head, and it's the same for Sophie. We just we just deal with it every day, and sometimes we have to remind myself, just start at the beginning. Start at the beginning. Um, thank you, Steffi. This is Elizabeth for this very helpful tutorial. This is the first time I have done the stab along. Excellent. Please share your um, finished um, pictures of Rainbow of Hopes with us on Every Wanna Maker. I haven't had any of this delicious tea yet, but I'm going to have a little zip now. Every Wanna Maker. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that's it for, for today. So I've even stuck to an hour. Woohoo! Getting better at this. So thank you very much for watching. Um, this is all the wool I've got left over. Plenty to play with still. So um, you can see it's good value in that pack. I've made that. I've still got um, that left over to make two brooches with my magic brooch pins as well. Um, you can use um, the the felt felting mat that's in there. I haven't actually used that um, because I much prefer the, the earth mat, of course. But if it's somebody who's never needle felted before, then that's what they're going to use. Absolutely fine to use. And I um, haven't used those two needles either. I've used my own and I um, haven't eaten the chocolates but if you can't eat the chocolates you can wear them as I said before probably look completely idiotic Thank thankfully I can't see myself and um, and then have um, a nice snip at your lavender bag and um, have your lovely um, herbal um, rejuvenating tea and um, <clears throat> and then just make your place okay for a very short period of time or even for a long time and join our happy place and um, that's it for me I'll see you soon bye bye